I would like to take this earliest opportunity to congratulate the Council of Governors, the Senate, the National Assembly, members of the county assemblies, development partners and agencies, resource partners, uh, persons and all stakeholders for making this conference a success. I would also wish to extend my utmost gratitude to the host governor of uh, Wasingishu and the great people of Wasingishu who have made our time here very memorable. When the history of Kenya is written, the revolutionary role of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, which sets us on the path of devolution, will be a seminal chapter in the Kenyan history. In essence, there is Kenya before devolution and Kenya after devolution. Ten years on, we have seen the immense political, social and economic impact that devolution has had on the lives of the, uh, of the people of Kenya. The transformation is evident and as Kenyans, we ought to take pride in the tremendous achievements enabled by devolution. Your Excellency, this conference, uh, in, uh, from this con uh, conference, various pertinent issues have been conversed. Valuable lessons and experiences have been shared. Opportunities have been identified and areas of improvement have been noted. As a partner in the devolution journey and the foremost protector of counties' interest in the national level, the Senate has taken note of the resolutions that have emerged from the various discussions at the plenary and in the sector breakaway sessions. Some of the key issues which would require intervention by the Senate would include Number one, ensuring the equitable allocation to county government is enhanced and dispersed within statutory timelines. Number two, the transfer of all outstanding functions and resources by the national government. Uh, uh, and uh, Your Excellency, we are very happy that uh, that is not contested. The President has agreed to that and the Council has agreed to it. Number three is enhancing the financial autonomy of the county assemblies to improve their oversight and accountability, among other proposals, which again is uncontested. Additionally, there are several proposals for legislation which will include a framework to enhance, to enhance county-owned source uh, revenue. One of the proposals in this regard was to encourage counties to leverage on non-traditional revenue uh, resources, among them green bonds. A review on the legal framework on the public-private partnerships to respond to the needs of the counties. Number three, a framework on performance management in the county public service to improve service, uh, service delivery. Number four, a framework on funding and execution of shared functions between the two levels of government, among other proposals. Your Excellency Sir and my colleague delegates, some of the sector-specific proposals that call for the intervention of the Senate will include, number one, engaging uh, Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, EPRA, and the county government in setting minimum standards for electricity and gas reticulation, which is a devolved function under the fourth schedule of the Constitution. Number two is developing a harmonized policy on digitization to facilitate uh, uh, service delivery, digital entrepreneurship, efficiency, and effectiveness of the government. Tied to this, it emerged that there is a need to put up a place in the legislative framework to protect critical infrastructure, for example, telecommunication masts and fiber optic cables, which are repeatedly vandalized. Number three is putting in place a legislation to promote the government housing agenda, and finally, harmonization and integration of taxes, licenses, and levies by the county, uh, at the county level. Many of the proposals emerging from this forum are in line with the bottom-up economic transformation agenda of the government, which at its core seeks to, among others, uh, reduce the cost of living, increase employment, incentives in uh, investment and production, enhance tax base for more revenue, and increase foreign exchange earnings. We can all agree that devolution is the catalyst for Kenya to unlock its full potential and accelerate development. The Senate will continue to advocate for adequate financing of the county governments, passage of enabling uh, registrations, and full transfer of devolved uh, functions and attendant resources. Additionally, the Senate undertakes to prioritize the resolutions emerging from this forum and to work with all stakeholders to realize the dream of devolution. Success of the next phase of devolution will be majorly dependent on the good governance structures. The Senate will continue to exercise its oversight role over funds allocated to counties to ensure uh, that the objects of devolution espoused in the Article 74 of the, Constitutions are, of the Constitution are met. Your Excellency, sir, in conclusion, I urge all Kenyans and the media to be patriotic and emulate the U.S. ambassador to Kenya 
Meg Whitman in speaking good about our country. Kenya is our home. Kenya is our home. Do not get distracted by those who condemn the friends of Kenya. Do not keep quiet. Do not shut up. Stand up for Kenya. Stand up for your motherland. Kenya is on the move. With those very few remarks, Your Excellency, I thank you very much.